Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden, and today we are checking out some music from JT Music. Uh, this is going to be his fact rap challenge. Okay, so what I understand from this is that GT Music decided to make a fact rap challenge. I'm not sure if he specifically targeted certain people that he wanted to do this inside this song. I haven't heard it yet, which is why I'm checking it out. But I know there's some big names that have already accepted the challenge, including another one that we're going to check out right after this, which is Dan Bull's response to this. Also, I just seen that Nerd Out also responded to this, and I know that Daddy Fat Snaps should be at least aware of this because I, I know someone has commented to him about it. He hasn't answered back to my knowledge yet, but maybe we'll be seeing something from him as well if if he's in the mood for it. We'll see. So without further ado, let's figure out what's going on here. You know what? I don't feel like rapping about video games this week, man. Let's let's mix it up. Uh, let's take these kids to school, literally. This is a challenge to everybody in Nerdcore who wants to answer. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, he called him out. This is not about beats or bars, no. Uh, let's see who's got the best bats. Cause that's what I came prepared to write. Water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The designer of the Eiffel Tower was scared of heights. There were more than 300 illuminated parasites. Not parasites, they're inside you. Scary, right? Tape worms can grow to 50 feet. Back to Paris lights. They can spare some lights if you ever need them. Chrysanthemums are pretty, but did you know you can eat them? I learned that from a book, so if you haven't, you should read one. Caffeine's a diuretic, so you bet it makes it be fun. Australia went to war with emus and got beat done. The grease gun. Is the M3 submachine gun used in World War II? Cause it was a cheap gun. Speaking of gunpowder made by the Chinese son, fuck the Mona Lisa. Da Vinci liked to draw dicks. A blue whale's dong is three meters long. Sick. These are all facts, even if obnoxious, like rice gum's response to I dub shit. <laughs> During the Battle of Pelusio, the Persians had cats and they were using them because they knew that the Egyptians were afraid of wounding them. Two grains the average cost a single carat ruby runs, but the most expensive chemical element, California, 27 milligram, who can afford more than one? Being gay in the Bible Belt is forbidden, but they watch way more gay porn than anyone. The internet weighs as much as an egg and electrons. Less weight, high reps, best for a chest pump, but not for muscular hypertrophy. Lift heavy, dolphins have sex for pleasure, but they never get sweaty. Human eyeballs stay the same size, brown, blue, or green for your entire lives. And we perceive the world upside down first. The brain flips it over with mind powers. The sun is hot. How high? Really high. Saddam was found in a hole in the ground when he got caught. Moon landing happened back in 69. It wasn't fair. <laughs> Time for your homework assignment. Get your facts straight and organize them. More than I've done in a rap like this. That's it. Class dismissed. All right. Yo, what's up, guys? Thanks for stopping by. We wanted to mix it up this week. Try something else. I don't know. You heard it, Nerdcore. Let's see what you got. Let's see your facts. So, as always, subscribe. We got more awesome video game music in the coming weeks. We got a PUBG song. We got an animated music video. We got all sorts of good stuff. So subscribe. Check out our merch. This is Couch Shop, but we've got good merch too. And, uh, you know, all the good stuff. Songs on iTunes. Not this one. This one's free. Love ya. Alrighty. Alright, now I see where we're going with this. Okay, I gotcha. That was pretty good, too. That was pretty good. Now I'm excited to see Dan Bulls, though, because I'm pretty sure he's going to blow him the fuck out of the water. It's, it's Dan Bull. Just hearing that alone, I already know Dan Bull can blow him out of the water because the, the man is, is, is a lyrical genius. 
This was really good, though. Uh, not to put this down, I, I'm just I'm already prepared for Dan Bull to rip him a new one compared to this one. Uh, it was hilarious too. The some of the jabs he was taking at other people with the Paul brothers <laughs> made me laugh. Oh man, it was a, he did a lot of pretty sweet facts here. Uh, now that I know what the challenge is about, I hope that everyone that he challenged will accept it. So far, like I said, nerd out and Dan Bull. Dan Bull's already got one out. Let's look out for Rocket. Rocket Gaming was there. I mean, Daddy Fat Snaps was there. A bunch of others. We'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, though. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.